guys, how's it going? It's Jay, and in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Canon R8 as a webcam. It's super easy, let's get right into it. All right guys, so the first thing you are gonna need is a cable. Now, I'm using a MacBook Pro, so I am gonna use a USB-C to USB-C cable. Now, I have one here linked up for you guys on Amazon right here. This is the cable that I have. Now it comes in different lengths. I got the 10 footer because I wanted to be able to walk around my studio with the web camera, you know what I mean? So I wanted like this 10 footer so I could do a studio tour as a web camera if I'm helping somebody like for consulting purposes, let's say. So that's why I went with the long one, but you don't have to, you can get shorter ones, but this cable is really cheap, $22. The output of the webcam, just so you guys know, is 1080 at 30 frames per second. Now, one other thing that's very important to know is that when this is plugged in in this mode for streaming um, or using as a web camera, the camera is not charging. So it does not charge the camera while doing this. So the down, that's the downside. So what you're really gonna want is to get one of the AC power adapters like you see here. Now, this one is super cheap on Amazon. It's an aftermarket, so it's only $25. Now, the Canon one is probably better quality, but the Canon one is like $134, as you can see here on BH Photo. So that's just some food for thought, but if you do want to do extended web cameras, like if you're doing Zoom conference calls or whatever it is, and you're going to be doing it for a long time, you're definitely going to have to have an AC like dummy battery or battery blank in there, and that'll let you basically webcam like indefinitely. You can get a, a good like at least an hour or so off the uh, standard battery uh, that comes with the Canon R8. So let me show you how to hook this up. All right, so I'm just gonna hit the menu button here. So this is where you're gonna wanna go in the menu to set this up. So you just go to choose USB connection app and notice how I'm in the wrench icon area, page four. All right guys, so what you're gonna wanna do is select video calls and streaming like so. And that's it. Now the USB port on the camera is set up for that purpose. Now, most likely you're gonna have this in selfie mode, so I would turn the screen this way, and then you can just move it out of the way. And now on the side of the camera, you have the USB-C port right there. So I'm just gonna plug the cable into the USB-C port, like so. Now I'm just gonna plug the USB-C cable into my MacBook, because those are the ports that my MacBook has. Now, if you're using a Windows computer, I'm sorry, but I don't have a Windows computer. You might be able to get away with using a cable, like the regular USB cable on this side, USB-A, I believe it's called. But in my case, it's USB-C on both sides, which is awesome. I much prefer the USB-C format. All right, so I have the camera connected. All right, so this window might pop up on your laptop when you first plug it in. So I'm just gonna click Allow, like so. So notice on the screen on the top left, how it looks like it's got a different icon there. That's the streaming icon in manual mode. And if you go in here, you can actually change that. So I'm just gonna put it into program auto mode so the camera does like all the thinking for me. It'll just be easier if the lighting changes and stuff. But of course, if you want more power, you're gonna to wanna to use manual mode, absolutely. So now that I'm in program auto, it's just gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, I won't have to worry about changing settings like shutter speed, things like that. So now if I go on my computer and let's just say I open up FaceTime, for example, and I go to video, notice how I have Canon digital camera is one of the options under the cameras. So I have FaceTime HD, which is the camera on the laptop, Jason's iPhone. You could use your iPhone nowadays. It's pretty cool. So let me just set this up in a web camera situation so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, that looks pretty good, right? You could switch to the HD camera and now this is the actual Apple camera, which, you know, the, the built-in one, which sucks, obviously, compared to a real camera. So let me just switch this back again to the good Canon camera. There we go. Now that looks way better, right? That's like a professional looking footage right there. Guys, so you really wanna bring your live streaming or your webcam footage up to the next level? Well. To do that, what you're really gonna need is an on-camera microphone. Now, this one from Sennheiser is called the MKE 400, and it's unbelievable. It basically just takes two AAA batteries. So I've had this mic for about a year, and I still haven't had to change the batteries. This mic not only sounds awesome, it just is super lightweight and compact as well. And it has an auto on and off feature, which is pretty much why the batteries never died. It also comes with a windsock, like this if you're out in the wind. What you can do is you can just slide this on top of the hot shoe here. And you can see it's got this little thread. 
very simple. You could just tighten that up once you slide it into the hot shoe. So you just slide it in like that, and then you can tighten this wheel up, and now it won't come off. It also has a headphone port here for monitoring and volume. Now the camera also has the headphone port, which is nice. Now I'm just gonna swing this over to the side and I'm gonna plug it in where the microphone goes, right here. That top port is the mic. So I'm gonna plug that in right there. I'm just gonna hide this cord up like that so it doesn't block the screen so much. All right, so in here in the menu is where your audio options are. By default, it's set to auto, which is quite nice. It'll just automatically adjust the volume for you. But if you go in here and you select on auto, you can actually go down and enable manual if you want. So this is where you would go to dial in that if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it on auto though because it seems to work great on auto and it's a nice turnkey option for webcamming or streaming. All right, now I'm gonna plug the USB cable back in here, like so. Now, of course, the USB cable does block the screen a little bit, as you can see here. So the screen's blocked a little bit and here's what it looks like again with the microphone on the front. So we are ready to go now. All right, so now I got the camera set up with the mic. It's plugged into the laptop. All right, so let me open up FaceTime here. All right, so in here, if you go to video, notice how I can select the Canon digital camera and I can also select the Canon digital camera for the microphone. So I'm gonna select that as well. So now that I have the Canon camera set for the mic and video, I'm gonna have really good quality audio and video. So let me give Jace a call and test this out. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it, how's it look? It looks good and it also sounds good. Oh, that's cool. I could actually hear you in the other room. <laughs> All right, buddy, I appreciate it. I'll catch up with you later. All right, so there you have it. So it works great, and you can see how it works for FaceTime, but you can also use it for QuickTime. You could use it in Facebook. You could use it in Zoom meetings and all that because it's pretty much just a web camera. Now, again, the, the one downside, like I was saying, is the battery situation. So you really want to consider getting one of those AC batteries, you know, to power the camera while you're doing this. But otherwise, this really works excellent, and... Uh, highly recommend using it for your web camera needs. All right, guys, I will catch up with you later and be sure to check out my Canon R8 beginner's guide if you want to learn how to use this camera in great detail from a beginner-oriented perspective. All right, have a great day. I'll catch up with you later.